Hello everyone, welcome again. In this software testing tutorial, we are going to learn why is software testing necessary. Now in the previous tutorial, I have covered what is software testing, correlated it with the real life examples, so that it is helpful for you when you go for the interviews. All right, so if you haven't watched it, please go back and watch it because that's the starting point of this bootcamp. Uh, if you're completely new to software testing and want to learn from scratch, please watch all the tutorials in the series. So now when we come back to importance of software testing, the importance I'll take with some of the examples as you can see on my screen. So I'll take from this particular organization Flipkart. So it's an e-commerce organization and in October 2014, they had this big billion sale and when they launched that particular sale, there was so much traffic coming to that particular website that the website couldn't handle or the application couldn't handle that amount of traffic. Due to which there were cancellation for the orders, there were delays in the orders and the reputation of the organization was badly, you know, impacted. All right. This is one of the examples. Second giant Yahoo, September 22nd, 2016. They had a major data breach of that particular year. 500 million credentials got compromised from Yahoo, right? So September 22nd, 2016, that is how big the data breach was with that particular organization. Now you can imagine these are the big organization with big teams, big software testing practices, how much testing they do, right? Even though they had such a big failures in the softwares that they have. Now I'm just explaining this um, to give you the impact that, you know, a particular defect or issue in production can have. Now Royal Bank of Scotland, RBS, in June 2015, they were, uh, there was a technical glitch or failure uh, in the software because of which they were not able to process six lakh payments and uh, those payments failed because of which they were fined 56 million pounds. All right, so 56 million pounds they were fined because of that particular failure that happened in June 2015. Another example, Tesco, March 2012, what they did is um, they advertised the iPad on their online platform for, you know, the actual cost was 650 million pounds, uh, 650 pounds, sorry, not million, uh, the advertised price was 49.99 pounds and there were lots and lots of orders because why not I'm getting uh, an iPad for 49.99 pound I'll definitely get it so there were a lot of orders later on they cancelled those order orders but the reputation was impacted in that particular case as well so now you can imagine these are the big organizations and there have been disasters uh, with only, you know, one particular technical failure or the software failure that has happened and impacted these banks. If you go to Google and try to search, there are so many impacts that have happened, even life-threatening in the airlines, in the, in the software of uh, the plane uh, impacted, uh, the crash or the rocket launch has been impacted because of the software failure or the, or the bug. So these are some of the, you know, big failures that could happen if there are bugs in your software, right? Now, this is why software testing is necessary. So you need to ensure that these sort of things do not happen or even if they happen, there is a minimal impact on the actual, you know, be it, you know, life threatening or uh, be it, you know, financial impact. So here in this case, there was a financial impact reputational damage, you know, security breach, so financial impact again. So there is a lot of financial impact, reputational damage to the organizations if they miss a particular, you know, critical issue um, in the software testing, right? So this is the main reason why software testing is important. And I'll cover a couple of more things why the software testing is important. All right, let me... Okay, so um, we have seen these examples. So a defect, if a defect, critical defect is left, it can harm the company's reputational 
um, you know, uh, have a reputational damage or it can harm, you know, person, life threatening, it can be anything, it, depending where that particular bug is. If it is, you know, like in, in the airplane software, it's life threatening to all the people that are, you know, traveling in that airplane, right? It, um, it has the impact in the loss of money. So loss of money, right? The next thing could be, so loss of money, uh, you know, for example, we have seen about the RBS, they were fined for the processing, uh, not processing the payments. So they were fined, right? So loss of money for the organization. Then um, the other uh, necessity of the software is that once you do the software testing, it will improve the quality, right? So it improves quality. What this means is that once you find a lot of critical issues or once you test the software, it will ensure that the, you know, common issues are being caught up upfront and you do not ship the software, you do not launch the software with major critical issues and you ensure that the quality of the software before launching meets the criteria, right? That's another necessity of the software testing. This is to ensure that you do not lose the money, right? Life threatening is to ensure that the software doesn't have any life-threatening life impact. Uh, the other importance or the other necessity becomes, you know, it reduces the risk, all right? So how it re reduces the risk? So third thing is risk reduction, all right? So say, for example, uh, you are testing software which is um, used within the airplane, right? Now you can imagine if you do not test the software or you do not test the software properly that is used in the airplane, uh, in any of the you know functions of the airplane, there is a lot of risk of you know financial impact and to the lives of the people that are traveling, right? So when you test the software that is being used in any of the uh, life threatening or any anywhere, it reduces the risk of either it is life threatening or to the organization's reputation or to the, you know, um, to the overall financial impact that could happen because of the, uh, because of the failure for that particular software, right? So these are some of the, you know, um, key things that you need to remember. So uh, basically reputational damage, right? Reputational damage. So reputation, loss of money, improved quality and risk reduction, right? These are some of the key things that are, you know, main towards why the software testing becomes very necessary um, in order to ensure that there is no reputational damage, no loss of money, uh, uh, and you find the bugs up front rather than, you know, waiting for the bugs in the later phases of the software delivery. So that's all for this tutorial. Hope it was helpful. Please do share and subscribe and thank you for watching.